Greetings. We are your higher dimensional expressions of self. We are returning now to assist you with your multidimensional thinking. For when you think in a third dimensional way, you bind yourself to time. And when you bind yourself to time, you bind yourself to the third dimensional matrix. Within the third dimensional matrix, only that which is perceived by your five physical senses is considered to be real. What else and whatever you perceive is considered to be your imagination. That is a correct assessment for your imagination is your fifth dimensional thought. When you are thinking in a fifth dimensional and beyond manner, you are not bound by time. You are not bound to your physical senses and you are not bound to the 3D matrix and the third dimensional rules of reality. Some of you have begun, in fact, quite a few of you, have begun your interdimensional travels. Many of you still call them dreams, but we, the ones who you are visiting in your night body, assure you that these dreams are very real experiences. And within these experiences, whether you do so through raising your consciousness by a sleep or raising your consciousness by a meditation, the experiences that you are having are real experiences. They are experiences that you are having within the now of the one and with your higher frequencies of consciousness. These higher frequencies of consciousness are being activated more and more with your every moment. Your third dimensional operating system, your third dimensional thought is ruled by the 3% of DNA, the two DNA strands that make up your human genome. Your human genome has been limited to the third dimension and below. This happened long ago as a process of genetic manipulation. You have now moved beyond those limitations for the higher light of the one that is coursing through the galactic center is activating the 97% of your DNA that has laid latent for all of your earthly incarnations since the fall of Atlantis and for some before the fall. Feel that light as it enters in to your pineal gland and feel how your pineal gland shares that light with your pituitary gland and feel how your pituitary gland shares that with your entire endocrine system, which shares it with every component of your physical body. Imagine with your fifth dimensional thought that you can perceive this higher light and the unconditional love, which is the highest frequency of this light, as it is flowing, floating, moving through the containment of your earth vessel. Feel your brain. Feel it as a baby chick who is pecking at its shell from the inside. It knows now, innately, somehow, it has the awareness that if it can peck on that, that hard thing that is just above it, if it can peck and peck, that something will open up and it will have a different reality than it has ever known. That pecking, that sense of 
I have to do something to get somewhere. There's something I have to do. The do component is your third dimensional thinking. The reality is there's someone that you can now be, and that is your multidimensional thinking. Your multidimensional thinking is beyond time. And so it doesn't need to have a something that you have to do over a period of time so that you are good enough, polarized statement, to deserve, polarized statement, to get enough money, polarized statement, so that you can survive. The reality is that as you are awakening to this beautiful being that is pushing at the limitations of your third dimensional earth vessel. It is pecking away at the shell, knowing that it is time to be something more. This something more is you. It is your multidimensional beingness. The way to peck away at the limitations is to think in a multidimensional fashion. For remember, thinking third dimensionally ties you to the 3D matrix, and that which you were pecking your way out of is not an egg, but a matrix, the matrix of the third dimension. This matrix holds you in a tight limitation of time of separation, of work. Now, even pecking is a form of work. Even pushing is a form of work. Therefore, that was just a expression, a picture. For as you can continue to return to your multidimensional thinking. You will think more in pictures and allegories than you will in words and in sentences. Multidimensional thinking is what you have called in the past thinking outside of the box, which is very correct. Multidimensional thinking is thinking outside of the 3D matrix. Multidimensional thinking is realizing that your imagination is real. Your imagination is your multidimensional thinking. And just as your imagination speaks in pictures, in flashes, of ideas that come into you suddenly, unbidden, beyond time, and grow as you place your attention upon them. That growing is the means of expanding your multidimensional thinking. As you think multidimensionally, you allow yourself to believe that you are more than what you perceive with your physical eyes. With your multidimensional thinking, you allow yourself to believe that your dreams are experiences of your higher frequencies of self, that your meditations are experiences of your higher frequency of self, that the ideas that cross into your mind unbidden, the ahas that come to you when you are not working, when you are not stressed out, when you are not bound by the third dimension, these ahas come to you when you are relaxed, when you are calm, when you are grounded, when you are engaged in something else, such as a walk in a lovely place, a calm drive, a visit with a good friend, then suddenly 
aha comes into your mind. It is your multidimensional thinking coming online. More and more, your multidimensional thinking is superseding your third dimensional thinking. Once you would think, oh, well, that was a crazy idea I had. What made me think that I could do such a thing? I'm just a regular old person with a regular old life, and I have to go to work and get a job. I have a family to support. Those kinds of thoughts are beginning to be replaced with, well, why not? Why not? I have spare time. Within my spare time, instead of watching a reality show of somebody else's life or watching a ball game where somebody else is having fun, I am going to take that time from my 3D life and I'm going to do what I love to do. And I have discovered that when I am doing what I love to do, that wonderful ideas are coming in. Wonderful flows of consciousness are coming into my body, coming into my mind, and filling my heart with love. And as I relax into this love and into this light, I feel as if I am almost falling in to an experience of something that brings an aha. Oh yes, that is the answer to that problem that I was working on. Aha, yes, I would so much love to do that. And in fact, instead of watching that show on the television, I am going to do that thing. I can do it. I can absolutely do it. I have time to do it. I will create time to do it. There you said it. You have the ability to create time. If you have the ability to create time to do what you love, that is when you begin to release yourself from time. If you can create it, then what is more powerful? The one who creates it? or the creation. If you can create time for yourself to live the life that you love, that is how you step out of time. Thinking multidimensionally, you remain out of time. When you are in your third dimensional thought, you are limited to doing what someone outside of you has told you what to do. You are limited to doing that thing by a certain time. And then you think of that thing and you move beyond the limitations of that thing so that you can get that thing done by the right time. On the other hand, when you think multidimensionally of I will do this as I am ready, you allow bubbles of opportunity to come into your awareness. And as this bubble of opportunity comes into your awareness, you fall into this bubble, you surrender to this bubble, and within this bubble you perceive myriad possible realities. As you see all the options, all the possible realities that float around you, like that very light that you have experienced inside of your physical encasement. You follow love. And the possible reality that fills you most with love, you fall into that possible reality. And as you fall into that possible reality that is filled with love, you allow that possible reality that is filled with love to fall into you. And within the surrender there is not time. For when You are doing that which you love. You lose time. You lose duty. You do lose limitation. You relax into the nowness of the joy of living in love. And that is how you are creating new earth. Blessings on your creation.